Yeah, since the game against Manchester City, it was a game for all seasons. We had drama, controversy, VAR, one of the best ever European nights. Has your heart rate come back down to normal just yet? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. So it was uh, an amazing uh, night. Obviously, good, good go in a different way. But, you know, thanks God, it was uh, a good night for us at the end. What, what was your emotion like when the ball deflected into Aguero's path, passed it on to Sterling? It seemed to happen in slow motion and the goal went in. Yeah, actually, I was before Christian misses the pass. I was coming back from the touchline, so I didn't see uh, properly the action. So when I turned, uh, I saw the ball into the net, you know, and then just it was sad then and thinking, OK, you know, so once again, uh, the God is not with us. But Mauricio was coming from the touchline, throwing uh, the coach, uh, the jumper, and it was like I said, OK, relax, relax, because uh, I saw just the referee probably is offside, you know, and then, you know, you can see the opponent uh, celebrating, running, uh, getting crazy but in a minute so all the motions went in the other direction right so it's just how football sometimes can be with the new technology right now uh, you know we said before the VAR uh, came to those competitions uh, we'll change the game we'll change the motion because the, the teams or the stadiums will celebrate both actions especially in England because they have a lot of uh, away fans and it was a night like like we said and Maurizio actually said it was you that told him he was kicking a water bottle. He took his jumper off. He had his blazer over his head. He said it was you that told him, hang on. Yeah, because as, as I said, so I was sat there and I was, you know, uh, to be honest, I was uh, watching uh, the opponent celebrate, but I saw the referee, you know, checking and making the signal of the VAR and he said, and the linesman was in a position to, to give offside. So and I said, probably yes. And it, and it was so. And I want to show you this moment from the game when Maurizio and yourself. Yeah, you know it's uh, it's amazing. So I think it reflects what what it is in this moment. You know, so after I think the show corner, I thought the game is over. You know, and this this moment we have to celebrate it. And it was there, and you know it was naturally from all of us. And I think he deserves, he deserves, you know, of course we are a team, but, you know, always is the leader who is there. I said, how difficult it is to be a manager? Two years behind him, it's so easy to make decisions, to give opinions, but to be there and stay relaxed and, you know, don't say much and provide the, the good energy to your players and, you know, he's capable to do it. Uh, no one believes uh, in us, obviously for uh, clear reasons. But so far we are there and, and we'll see. And what I saw the emotion between you guys. I mean, you've been through it all. And you said no one expected you to be there. What were you saying to each other afterwards? Yeah, where well, we said uh, it's amazing. It's amazing how football sometimes can reward you. Uh, at the end, you work hard like all the coaching and stuff with more or less uh, resources. But there are one thing you, you can affect your team is with belief you know, and be positive always and say and accept your reality. Sometimes you, you cannot make the changes you want or sometimes you cannot get what you you expect. But I think the big success of Mauricio is to feel everyone part of, of the team in any circumstances, you know. Probably at the end of the last season, some players expected to go on the club, some, you know, to come. For whatever reason, we are start again the season uh, with the same uh, faces. And I said, Mauricio told them, so we start again all together. Whatever happened in the past or in your minds, in our minds, you know, must be left on uh, outside. And, uh, you know, we prove all together. Uh, we fight uh, against all the circumstances. And how good is it to have all of that Manchester United and Real Madrid speculation behind you? Has that helped you guys as a team to completely focus? I think, uh, you know, Mauricio is a very relaxed uh, guy and never loses his pool because the media speculates because at the end, you know, you never can control what the other people is saying, what is happening uh, in other clubs, you know. So I think his commitment, our commitment, it's, it's obvious, it's clear and it didn't affect at all. And now Tottenham march on, Ajax Lion waits. Are you running out of soldiers? Musa Sissoko uh, went down, Harry Kane's 
obviously injured. Uh, Son not available for the first tie, uh, for the first leg of the tie. Uh, is that a concern for you guys, the, the growing injury list? Well, I think uh, at the moment is uh, we need to, to think on the next game on Saturday. And when the semi-final uh, will be there, we will see how many players we have, which is the best way to, to play against them. And it was uh, the main principle this season. So two days before or one day before the match, we said, OK, this is the players we got today to play tomorrow. And let's try, always, obviously, respecting our principles and our philosophy, but adapting to, to them. And just looking at social media today, how does it make you feel? Uh, I don't know if you if you allow yourself the chance to look on, on Twitter. I know you're active on Twitter. Just to see what that meant for Tottenham. A, a lot of fans saying that was the greatest night, you know, in the last 50 years yeah, for Tottenham fans. I think how do you feel about Yeah, that? Well, we feel proud for them, for us, but especially for them, because when five years ago, when we arrived here, I think the position of the club and the team was was a lot different. No one probably believed this club can um, can be in uh, magic magic uh, nights like like yesterday. And now seems in the last two three years this is quite normal, you know, to be Real Madrid, to be uh, Man City, you know, to win Dortmund, uh, you know. But it's no normal. It's a process, uh, and at the moment everything is going uh, in a good direction. And just this is a signal you have to always to believe. And a word on Ajax, your semi-final is a football fan's dream. Uh, it, Ajax versus Tottenham uh, for the place in the Champions League final. A quick word on your opponents, and, and has it sunk in that you are perhaps two games away from a Champions League final? But I think, yeah, of course, it's, you know, I think all the teams now, the four teams there in the semi-finals, probably we will say the same sentences, you know, you say, okay, we are two games from the final, but at the end, you have to play the first game, and you cannot play before you are star, you know, so let's take uh, game by game and then uh, we'll see. If Ajax are there, it's because they well deserve it, they play so well, and Munich they play unbelievable against Real Madrid, Juventus, you know, they play good football, energetic team, you know, and probably with us we play without, um, you know, fears, uh, but now probably it's a bit different, so looking at the, at the final, probably, you know, we'll see how it affects both teams. But I think it's going to be a fantastic uh, um, time. And a quick word on your squad. Maurizio said after the game that his team were heroes. How would you describe it? They, they are heroes, you know? Because probably two weeks ago, no one gave a chance to us. And we are here. So it's a 4-4 against Man, Man City, you know? Because now we are talking about about the sports went through, but the result was 4-4 in two games, you know, so it's amazing to score three goals away and, uh, you know, to fight, to come back and through all the emotions. That's the most important is the, char the, the character of the team, the personality of the team. So and, uh, we just try to deal with circumstances and here we are. You've got Manchester City again. You must be getting tired of Manchester City by now. No, you know, when you start uh, as a coach in football, you want to play uh, those kind of games. So we cannot complain because you, you are going to play against again Man City, you know, fighting now for the Premier League. They are fighting for the title, we are fighting for uh, top four. And I think it's, it's going to be amazing and amazing how both teams we are, will react after last night. You know, it's uh, another test. Okay, so it's good luck against Manchester okay. City. Thank you so much for taking us.